hey, y'all, um, I was praying to ask God where I can read in the Bible, and he took me to Nehemiah. It's pretty hard. Uh, the words, like, are pretty hard to pronounce, so I'm not going to read it out loud, but if y'all want a good read in the Bible, read Nehemiah. Nehemiah was considered the weeping prophet. He cried a lot. And it says down here, it came to pass when I heard these words, I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. And God said, I betrayed thee, O Lord God of heaven, great and terrible God that keeps covenant and mercy for them that have loved him and observe his commandments. Let thy ears now be attentive and thy eyes open, that thou may hear the prayers of thy servant, which I pray before thee day and night for the children of Israel, thy servant, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. We have dealt very corruptly against thee and have not kept your commandments nor your statutes, nor your judgments, which you command your servant Moses. I uh, remember, I uh, Patrici, the word that thou hast commanded thy servant Moses, saying, If you transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. But if you turn unto me and keep my commandments and do them, that there were of you, and do them, thou, there were of you cast out into the uttermost parts of heaven. Yet will I gather them from there and will bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Now these are the servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power and by thy strong hand, O Lord. I betrayed you, let now thy ear be attentive to the prayers of your servants and the prayers of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man, for I was the king's cupbearer. Cup barrier. Praise the Lord. I love that. Now, y'all read Nehemiah. It's really a good book. Uh, it's, got, it's a big book, but um, he was called the um, weeping prophet because he weeped. He had a heavy heart, you know, for burdens for, for the people. Anyway, read.